Okay, moving away from our normal vintage electronics videos for a few minutes. Tonight's repair project is this battery operated moon that is supposed to light up when used with a supplied remote control transmitter. This belongs to one of the kids at church and his parents asked me if I'd take a look at it for them and see if we could get it going again. So the first thing I did was I checked the batteries inside the remote control transmitter and found them to be in good shape. And then I tested the transmitter itself for a signal. And there's a real easy way to test these remote infrared remote transmitters. You can just take a standard AM radio, turn the radio on to a dead spot on the dial, place the transmitter close to the radio, and push the button and you can hear that there's a signal okay all functions of the transmitter are producing a signal so we know the remote's good so once I determined that that was okay I removed the battery compartment cover and as you can see the battery terminals are corroded which means some batteries leaked in here at one time. So before I clean those terminals, I want to take this apart and see if the corrosion extends deeper than the battery contacts or will we get lucky and clean the battery contacts and this thing work again. So let's, let's open it up and see what we... Okay, we have the main cover off and now we have to take these screws out to remove this portion to expose the inner workings. Okay, here we are all exposed. That circuit board there contains a surface mounted integrated circuit which is the actually the control circuit for the whole works and the little black thing there is the infrared sensor for the remote and here's our power switch and of course the battery box. So far it doesn't look like the battery acid leaked on anything else but the battery box so we might get lucky here but just to make sure I'm gonna take this control board loose and see if there's anything on the other side of it okay our control board looks clean and corrosion free so I think there may be some hope for this but I just noticed something they forgot to do from the factory this board here contains the light emitting diodes or LEDs that's used to illuminate this and when they soldered those parts in place they forgot to cut off the excess lead wire I guess they were in a hurry I don't I don't know but we're gonna we're gonna fix that right now we can't have excess wire hanging off here that's just totally unacceptable I know this is low voltage electronics here but Still, if these wires somehow manage to move from the position they're in and touch something, that could cause a short and cause serious problems. So we're going to cut these off right now. And I don't think I can do this one-handed, so let me put the camera down. Okay, I've now trimmed off the excess leads that were left on at the factory. That looks a lot neater now. So now we'll move on to cleaning this battery box if possible. And worst case scenario, if these if the terminals are too bad to clean, we can just uh either try to install another battery box or I will mount an external jack on the on this so it can be run from an external wall wart power supply. So one way or another I think there's hope for this. I now have the DC power supply connected to this and it's set to 6 volts. So kind of give me an idea whether or not the rest of this circuit is operating before I do anything to the battery box. So let's see what happens. Okay, it lights up. So let's take the remote.
Okay, I think we're in business. So all we have to do is clean or replace the battery box and this thing should be back in business again. Okay, I believe the moon is officially fixed. I cleaned the battery contacts as best I could and snipped off that excess component lead wiring that was a defect from the factory and one of the battery terminals I added a tad bit of solder to it so it would make better contact and let's test it out here and I believe it's working Okay, so as far as I'm concerned, this thing is fixed and ready to go back home. Okay, there you go. Thanks for watching and more to come later.